Today's review is going to be a quick one because there isn't a whole lot to say about this one because it's Space Invaders. Space Invaders Fukatsu no Hai released in 1990 exclusively for the Japanese PC Engine console is your obligatory console conversion of the 1978 classic Space Invaders arcade game and for what it's worth it's a near accurate recreation of said arcade game. Those unfamiliar with the game you control a little mobile turret, you shoot lines at descending invaders to kill them while avoiding their lines of death that will kill you in a single hit. You can hide behind bunkers that wither away under abuse and occasionally shoot down passing UFOs for big points. As the invader groups grow smaller, their speed increases exponentially and once they land on the ground, it's game over. Of course, it's also game over if you lose all your lives. So like I said, it's a near accurate conversion of the arcade game. The gameplay and controls work as well as you would expect the Space Invader games of the classic persuasion to work. The graphics and sound effects are somewhat perfectly recreated, save for the display being altered from its original vertical aspect ratio to fit a 4x3 display, which is fine. And if you input a sort of Konami code in the title screen, you could change the look of the game from its color display to black and white if you want a more classic look to your ancient arcade games. There's not much to say about this one. It's old school Space Invaders. If you're old, you know what this is, you played it, you might even like it. And if you're younger, you're thinking this is slow plotting ancient software that belongs in a museum, much like Dr. Jones. Now, fortunately for you young whippersnappers, who am I kidding, this game's older than I am, this Space Invaders compilation also includes a variant called Space Invaders Plus version, which is essentially a spruced up version of Space Invaders, similar to that Space Invaders 91 conversion on the Genesis, probably not the same game though, I'm not really sure on that count. Anyway, the Plus version has nicer 16-bit looking graphics where you have different backdrops for various waves and the invaders themselves assume different forms despite sticking with the same pattern of descent and despair. Some of them even have new attacks like firing two shots at an angle to really screw you over. Killing the passing UFO will occasionally drop pickups that will grant you temporary special weapons you can execute by pressing the 1 button. Ranging from homing missiles to this weird fireworks looking thing that at least does a bit of damage. Instead of lives, you now have shields, allowing you to take a couple hits before dying, at which point you can continue a limited number of times on the current wave, though you lose your score. Holding one of the buttons on the title screen while pressing run will enable a rapid shot cheat that increases the speed of your shots, which does help in making the game a bit more manageable, though not necessarily easier. So, if Vintage Space Invaders seems a bit antiquated for your tastes, and I wouldn't necessarily blame you for thinking that, this Plus version might be more up your alley, though not necessarily a hell of a lot more. It certainly looks nicer, and the sound effects are naturally a step up, though still somewhat tinny sounding. And this also applies to the game's musical selection, which is limited, but also somewhat catchy while they last. And of course the gameplay is spruced up quite a bit with the power-ups and updated enemies, but at its core, it's still Space Invaders with a new coat of paint. Perhaps a bit more tolerable, or perhaps even palatable for some, with the additions, but that's about it really. It's a departure, but not too drastic of a departure. And these are your only two modes of play in this package, take it or leave it. I figured there would be some kind of special two-player competition mode like there was in the SNES port, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. It's a bit of a shame, actually. The vector-based graphics are kind of cool, though. I'll give it that much. Space Invaders Fukatsu no Hai is the stock port of Space Invaders to the PC engine with an arranged mode tossed in for good measure. The conversion is bought on, the plus mode is fun for a while, but honestly, this is nothing you cannot get anywhere else. There's plenty of ways to play Space Invaders in its original arcade format, especially nowadays, and there's a whole bunch of arranged variants that do far more than what this has to offer. On a whole, not a bad entry into the series, but there's nothing here you should go out of your way to try unless you just have to play every Space Invaders game out there. And how about that? Just under five minutes. Fantastic.